Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and welcome to this new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In the last episode, we created this item inspection system that you can see here on the screen right now. In this episode, we are going to make so that we can actually inspect the items that we have on our inventory, like this. So yeah, let's get started. First, we want to go to the enum folder and we want to create a new enumeration. And this will be called item actions enum. Okay, and let's open it and let's add three enumerators. First one will be called use. Okay. The second one will be called inspect and the third one will be called crop. Now let's save, let's close this and after that we want to go to the blueprints and to the components. Let's open the PPC inventory and here what we want to do, we want to add a variable which will be called reopen inventory and it will be type boolean and we don't have to do anything else here right now. Now let's just compile, save and we can close this. So the next thing that we want to do, we want to go back to the blueprints and to the BP player character. Okay. And here on stop inspecting item. Okay. After we have called all these nodes and we set the inspecting item back to false, what we want to do, we want to get our BPC inventory reference and we want to check if the reopen inventory true. So let's add a branch, so B and left click. Let's connect it to here and connect that to there. So we're checking if we want to reopen the inventory. And after that, we want to get from this and we want to get the reopen inventory again, but this time we want to set it on the true and we want to set it back to false. Let's add a reroute to here. And let's actually align these. And after that, what we want to do, we want to just call the open close inventory. Like this. Let's add another reroute and move it to here. And let's actually align once more. And they actually were already aligned. Now let's compile. Let's save all is we have to go to the third person map and to the hot folder and to the W inventory slot. Let's open it. Now let's go to the graph and here under these on Howard and on unhoward, what we want to do, we want to select our button background and we want to also add a on click event here, like this. Now we want to create uh, three more custom events under here. But first, let's uh, leave some space here. So, uh, yeah, let's create a custom event here. And this first custom event will be called use. Let's copy it and let's paste it under here. Let's leave some little space. Let's call this one inspect. And the last one, let's paste it here. And this one will be called crop. Okay. Now we are only going to create the inspect uh, event. We will create 
is on the coming episodes. But now, what we have to do, we want to get the item details. Like this. And we want to split it. And one thing that I noticed, we haven't added the variable yet here. So, let's go back to the third person map, to the blueprints, and to the structures. Let's open the item struct. And here, let's add a new variable, which will be called um, mesh. Okay, let's change the variable type to static mesh. Let's scroll down here to static mesh and let's select the object reference, the blue one. Like that. Now let's save, let's close and let's go to the blueprints and to the data table. And let's open the items DT. And here on the on our first item, on the test item, let's set this mesh to be, for example, the flashlight. Doesn't matter, we just have to select some mesh like this. Okay. And actually, we can set this another thing to be something else. It actually doesn't matter what we select here. Let's just select uh, shape cone or whatever. Now let's sa save, uh, let's close this. And now let's go back to the W inventory plot. Okay. And if you cannot see the item uh, details mesh here, you want to reference, uh, sorry, refresh notes. Now what we want to do is we want to get our W inventory reference under here. And from here, we want to get the player ref like this. From here, we want to call the start inspecting item. Okay. And the mesh will be the item details mesh. Let's actually make this a little bit tighter. So let's move it like that. So now we will start inspecting the mesh that we get from the item details uh, structure. And after that, we want to also get from the W inventory ref and we want to get the BPC inventory ref under here. Now, I think we actually have to move this like this and add a reroute here. Select these and press Q to align. Now it looks better. And now what we have to do is we want to get from the BPC inventory ref. Uh, we want to check if the inventory is open. Okay, let's add a branch, B and left click. So if our inventory is open, what we want to do, we want to also get from the BPC inventory ref and we want to set reopen inventory. And we want to, of course, set it to true. Because if our inventory is open, when we call this function, we want to also make it reopen after we close the inspection. Let's add a reroute to here. And after that, what we just want to do, we want to get from this and we want to call the open close inventory function. And let's add yet another reroute like this. So first we're setting the mesh, then we're checking if the inventory is open. If it is, we will set the reopen inventory to true and we will uh, basically close the inventory and start the inspection. And next, Thing that we have to do, one more thing, is up here on click button background that we added before. What we want to do here is we can just call the inspect function now. Later on we will add some more things here, but for now it will work like this. For now, compile, let's actually save all. Let's go to our level and let's see if we have test two and here we have test. Okay, so I will just quickly set the amount to one, even though it doesn't matter. Then I will save and let's play. 
let's see if i pick up this item also this item now if i inspect this one we can see the cone yeah when we press i we will go back to the inventory and we can inspect this item and it will be the flashlight okay i know that this doesn't represent the items even though these are not even real items these are just test items later on when we will start creating some real things we will change all these icons and meshes and all that stuff but yeah for now it will be like this so yeah i actually think that was all for this video if you like what you saw please click the like button and subscribe for more and yeah hope you have a great day and see you on the next one bye